Now in this question then, we've got to write root 75 minus root 27 in the form k root 3. So this is a typical question on simplifying thirds. So what I'd want to do is start with an intro and that would be the root of 75 then minus root 27. And what's this going to equal? Well, we need to break these two values down to something with a root 3 in. And this gives us a clue because we should already be familiar with this rule that if you've got the product of say two values a times b that this is exactly the same as the square root of a multiplied by the square root of b. So this is a typical rule that we need to use on simplifying thirds. And so how do we work with this here? Well, it's got to have something to do with 3, 3 being a factor of 75. And we can see that 25 times 3 is going to give us 75. So we can think of this as the root of 25 multiplied by 3. And then for root 27, 3 goes into 27 9 times. So this is going to be the same as the square root of 9 times 3. And then by this rule over here, we can break up these two values. We can say this is the same as the square root of 25 multiplied by the square root of 3. And then for this one, square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 3. And we know the square root of 25, it's 5, so this will be 5 root 3 minus, and we know the square root of 9, that's 3, so that's 3 root 3. And 5 root 3 minus 3 root 3 is going to leave us with 2 root 3. And so you can see that this is in this particular form. Now, that's where this question stops, but just for the sake of it, if they'd asked you to find out what the value of k is, it's obviously going to be 2. But if they did ask you to do that, I would have written something like this, that this is identical to k root 3, where k equals 2. All right? Anyway, that's what they were looking for. You didn't have to do this, but that's just if you did have to do it. That's how I would have answered it. Okay?